Seven people shot and five dead at the scene. It was not what we'd call like a usual call. Retired crime scene detective Hal Sherman wore a Tyvek suit at the Main Street Wendy's on May 24, 2000. One by one, they removed their bodies. As he made his way to the basement freezer. They were all taped. Every one of them had a plastic bag placed over their head. I still think about my friends all the time. Jaquan Johnson, then 18, survived a bullet to the head from the second shooter. He went a bomb, 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 bomb. A fingerprint left on a box of plastic bags led police to John Taylor. I would like to take a polygraph. I'll take it right now. A disgruntled former manager with a history of fast food robberies. I did not shoot any of those victims in there. His 11-page statement pinned everything on accomplice Craig Godino. He told him to come get me from Jamaica Avenue at CNR clothing store. An imposing security guard who had worked with Taylor for a month. I wish both of us to be polygraphed so you can see that I will come up clean and he will come up very shame, man, shame. Both were charged with five counts of murder. I hit the manager and once I hit the manager, John reached over and shot him. And once he reached over and shot him, he shot the female. That's when he told me, to finish it. And I said, finish what? He was like, you gotta finish everybody. You gotta kill everybody. Craig Godino just turned 50. We met him in prison where he's now spent nearly half his life. I told my mom when I was young, I wanted to go to the Air Force, become a teacher or an artist, a music artist. Simon's flesh, you know the routine, the crime scene ticked off. Godino came of age on the same streets as future rap superstar 50 Cent who survived nine gunshot wounds on Jamaica's south side. I'm rich, I still wake up with crime on my mind. Godino avoided a death sentence for Wendy's because childhood testing had put his IQ under 70. They didn't say I was mildly mentally retarded, but they said I had a learning disability, and they said I couldn't keep up. And he saw me as a child, and he influenced me to come with him. On May 24, 2000, Taylor and Godino took the E train to Jackson Heights and switched to the number seven bound for Main Street. Godino remembers the Wendy's employees summoned to the basement by intercom. And I don't know why I didn't stop them. I don't know why. Do I remember their faces? Godino told us when he was 10 years old, he suffered a trauma. He said he was approached by a young man near PS 118 in Jamaica. My aunt told me to uh, go back to the school and get my uh, spelling words. And he asked me, did I want to make uh, $10? Do I want to help him clean up his uncle's room? His uncle's room for $10? So by me being a kid, I was like, I guess so. Godino said he was taken to a house near the old Sundu factory. I was like sexually assaulted by him. By him, he was like, I think he was like 18 years old, upstairs in the attic. In his attic, Miss Murphy, upstairs in his attic. Godino said he was introduced to street life when he was 18, selling crack at 135th Street and Rockaway Boulevard. Every 18-year-old kid wants a five-starter jacket or Timberlands. Godino did prison stints for selling drugs and robbery and got paroled. He claims he didn't expect a mass shooting at Wendy's. We're wrestling for the gun. As we're wrestling for the gun, he picks it up and he cocks it back and he tells me if I hit him again, he's going to shoot me. So then that's when he told me to finish it. That's a lie. It was one, two, three, pass the gun, four, five, six, and I was the seventh one. Godino says he didn't understand the finality of his guilty plea, five life terms without parole. I'm not accepting this. I don't want to be labeled a statistic with a DIN number on my shirt walking around like a lost soul in prison. Nobody wants to be labeled as that label as cattle. Yet Godino says he regrets all the lives destroyed for a $2,400 payday. He gave me $300 and a gold coin. $300 for seven people shot. Yeah, yeah, I think about them. I said a prayer for them. I feel remorse. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.